Richard um, moved into his first ever house of his own. Not long after he moved in, you got picked on by the neighbours, didn't you? Yep. Yeah, and they were nasty to you, weren't they? Yeah. They said things like they thought uh, you were putting the price of their property down living there, didn't they? Yeah. And what were they doing? What did they, they banged a lot on the floor, did they? Yeah. Yeah. When they On the last night he was actually at his flat, they spat on his door, they turned his electric off, they rang him telling them effing and blinding at you, didn't they? Yeah. Sad. Angry. You weren't a happy bunny, were you? No. No. It took a long time to get you back to normal, didn't it? Yeah. We knew it was wrong because obviously his disability and we knew that they were just picking on him because of his disability. But when Richard got sort of bullied and everything, hate crime wasn't a big thing within the police force, within the country. It, it was mentally causing him problems. So everybody was checking Richard out first instead of them. I think people with learning disabilities need to have the knowledge that if there is any hate crime happening, they need to report it, report it, report it, and they need to do it early, and they need to keep a log of everything that's happening. Richard and I looked at it, what could we do positively about it rather than just go under with it? So when hate crime became a major thing and there was big conferences everywhere for it. Richard and I done a presentation, didn't we, about your hate crime, what happened? Yeah. So where do you go now? Are you any ideas? Next year. Next year you may think about moving on. Yeah. You're going to leave mum? Yeah. Yeah, that's good then. And stay in Higham. You want to stay in Higham? Yeah.